Hi, I've been getting a lot of requests on bids. That's, of course, Business Intelligence Development Studio. Um, how to install it for free and uh, what it basically looks like, what it can provide for you. Um, SQL Server as a whole is composed of SQL Server Analysis Services, SQL Server Integration Services, and the Database Engine. Um, we have a cube structure. We have dimension usage, calculations, key process indicators, actions, partitions, aggregations, perspectives, transitions, and of course the browser. Now the browser has to be configured. So let's go ahead and make a new reporting services project, which again is another aspect and part of SQL Server uh, Development Studio and bids as a whole. So we go to new project, and as you can see, these are only available in the advanced services for the free version. We have analysis services project, integration services with a wizard, and integration services sans wizard. These are, of course, unavailable for the advanced services free version. However, if you do purchase the standard version, obviously you're a corporation or a firm that needs to use these. And essentially what integration services is, let's go ahead and just open up a report server project. What integration services is, is it, 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 it allows you to do a lot of major tasks related to importing, parsing, sending data out, and um, again, I'll set, put the link down at the bottom for um, a very humorous look at integration services. So let's start up the report wizard. Let's configure our data source one. Let's see here, we have to edit this. So we have our data source. We have a Microsoft SQL Server. Edit. Using Windows Authentication, let's pick our only database and server name. Brian Swan PC, I'm using Windows Authentication normally. It'll automatically recognize all the DBs that I'm using. Let's use this one. I could have tested the connection, but I'm pretty sure the connection is valid. Okay, so you can go in through the Query Builder, and you can add in all the tables that you want. In this case, let's add this one, this one, and this one. And um, for the sake of making this fast, let's just make these links, pull in version, or these are actually the same tables. Let's add in one more, dim currency, dim organization. As you can see, they keep all the, uh, the consistency between the keys and the joins as well. So let's just hit OK, yes, OK, next, tabular, let's do that, let's get all these over, and we're finished. Then we have the breakout, and we finish that, and let's, let's uh, preview the report here. Boom, so now we have our first report out here, and we have to add, we can add in shared data sources, so we add in new data source here, and we have credentials down here. So I went ahead and I established one, one nice report after establishing a shared data source. The reason that we want to establish shared data sources in our reporting projects is because if I wanted to right click and um, add, to, add a new report here, I would then have to establish a new data set, a new, I mean a new data source, and um, it was kind of a hassle. So the best way to do it if you're going to make uh, several reports within one, one set is to use a shared data source. So as we can see here, I just took on a uh, one large table and pulled in some of my some of my amounts. Okay, and if we wanted to preview this, go in here, it loads it up. And again, this report is not live yet. If we want to actually deploy the report, we right click here and click deploy. And make sure that uh, you're careful when you actually want to do deploy project report one, because if you have 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 reports and you hit that deploy button, this will deploy every single one of those reports, and that has happened to me before. Um, uh, I think that wraps up uh, the, uh, the, the end of this. If you have any additional questions, uh, please feel free to message me or subscribe. Thanks.